Welcome back everybody. So if you own more than one pistol or you regularly carry more than one pistol, you can just stick around for the entire video because we're gonna talk about what is probably the most important CCW holster out there that you're gonna look at. And that is gonna be the MSP from Tier 1 Concealed. I get a ton of questions about holsters, whether it's quality, fit, combinations of light and pistols, whatever, concealed carry, outside the waistband, pretty much you name it, I get questions about it when it comes to holsters. Now, out on the range, I needed a holster where I could use a bunch of different pistols for testing, but not have to get a different holster for every pistol. And that led me to this, the Blackhawk Omnivore. So if you haven't seen the review on that, I will leave it down below, but basically what it is, it's a holster that attaches to the light rather than to the pistol itself. That way you can fit most modern pistols in there. I think it's a list of like 200 plus. That is gonna cover everything from like a 1911 hammer fired CZ stuff, SIG stuff, Glock stuff, Springfield stuff, most of modern striker fired pistols in there. Now, after having that for a long enough time, I started to wonder if anyone was doing that for the concealed carry world and in fact, they are. And that brings us to the MSP from Tier 1 Concealed. So what exactly is the MSP and how did this come about? So basically, uh, Tier 1 Concealed got with the Jedi, also known as Scott from the Modern Samurai Project, and they came up with the MSP, the Modern Samurai Project. And this is going to do the same thing that Omnivore does. It's going to attach to the light up here in the front. Rather than attaching to like the trigger guard or the breech or something up on the slide, that way you can fit a bunch of different pistols in the same holster, maintain the same draw stroke, and not have to buy multiple different things and save some money. Well, now that you kind of know what that is, the idea behind it, let's take a good up close look at the quality of this, the build, the materials used, the wing, the fasteners, all that good stuff that you really need to pay attention to when you're buying a holster. And then we'll talk about the fit of everything that you can put in there. Right, this is the Tier 1 MSP. And if you haven't noticed, they've got the little T in the one and then the MSP right there. So they've put some looks into this to keep their company logos within it. But let's talk about the overall quality of this holster and how it comes. You can get this in a couple different variations. One is gonna be just the holster itself and the other will be the holster and the mag caddy like I have, cause I'm very typically carrying an appendix rig like this or like this Gerber over here that we're gonna look at in comparison here in a second. So overall, this Kydex quality, it's great. So everything from the cut work, the lines, the finish work, the polishing, uh, Tier 1 has done a great job on these, which is definitely solid in what we are looking for because we only want to have to buy one of these. When it comes to the fasteners, they're using good stuff. Even the uh, eyelet rivets right there, um, those are much nicer than some of the other ones I've seen out there. They're a little thicker, nicer. So they're going to last a long time. You've got very good clips here. So you've got some adjustment both up and down on the clips, but you've got adjustment up and down on the side wing right here as well. And you've also got a thickness adjustment right there. So you can actually take those little plates off and adjust how thick that wing is. So there's a lot of forethought going in here. And then this, uh, these series of bumps right here on the mag caddy are gonna help kind of press against your belt and keep that spare mag tight into your body. Always remember on these fasteners, once you get this fit and set, you wanna throw some thread locker on there and make sure you guys do that. So all that adjustability is there. When it comes to the colors, you can go crazy. I think they have like 16 standard colors. And then when you get into some of the cooler stuff, it is going to be an upgrade. Now for size comparison, I want to take a good look at something I carry for some time, which is my Gerber right here. I love this holster. But taking a good look at the size profiles of these, you're gonna see they're quite similar. You're getting a little less material here with the MSP from tier one. But what I really wanna pay attention to is the thickness down in here in the valley. Um, so you guys get a really good idea of kind of how wide these are, both on the magazine and especially that pistol section right there because this is meant for a Gen 5 Glock 19, 45, 17, whatever. And this is a multi-fit holster. So keep that in your mind's eye, size to size, one next to each other. And let's do some fit testing to see exactly what we can stick in this MSP. All right, as you can tell by that up close footage, it is quality stuff. So let's get started seeing what is gonna fit here. And we'll start with the mag caddy here. You can see I have a SIG metal magazine in there. 
it's gonna fit in there, it's not gonna come out even when loaded. Everything here is unloaded for my safety Nazis. But you're gonna be able to fit your polymer mags, your P mags, your metal mags, any double stack 9 or 40 is gonna fit in there because it's all bungee retention here on this side, little bit here on the side of the holster, and then you've got screw retention on that side. So you're gonna be good to go on all of your various different double stack 9 and 40 mags. But to get us started with the fit, let's talk about the Gen 5 19 MOS here. You can see it goes right in there. It is secure. It is not coming out at all. For my fans of the big hammers, the stuff like this uh, XDM Elite OSP is a monster. Look at the size and the height of the sights on there. Again, it's going to go right in there. It is not coming out either. And for my hammer fired lovers out there, whether it's a 19 or a CZ, something like this operator, it's got a lot of weight to it. It's not necessarily as big or as thick as other things but she is a heavy girl. You can see that is not coming out either. And for my fans out there that like them thick, like say that wall through PDP with that big chunky thick slide on it, because this is a judgment free zone. And if you like them thick, that's okay. Going in there, no problem at all. And for my friends that like them, maybe a little tactically anorexic here, maybe a real thin A-Rex like that Delta Gen 2. Of course, that one's going to fit. And of course, my 80s fans that love bad hairdos and uh, shoulder pads, you know, something like that 80, that's gonna fit in there as well. So you, as you can see, the common theme here is it's gonna pretty much eat anything. Being that this securely fits just about anything most of us are gonna own out there, unless you're trying to concealed carry the 50 Deagle, I've wasted a lot of money and time on holsters. Not only money, I'm buying different ones for different brands when I've kind of moved on, or because of all of the stuff that I generally will carry or test. Now, I've got a bunch of spare holsters sitting over here most of which I bought, some have been sent in for testing, and a lot of the free ones that I've gotten, I've given away. But needless to say, a lot of holsters have come across my bench to check out, test, review, evaluate, all that good stuff. And if we do the quick math on those, these uh, holsters in this style, generally the appendix rigs like that, they're gonna run anywhere from like 120 and up. So if you look at that Christmas tree of uh, hanging holsters that I built a while back to hold them in a, like a better fashion than throwing them in a bin, you're looking, you know, there's at least 10 of these designed uh, holsters that I've got up there of different brands. So quick math is like 1200 bucks. And that's a lot of money to have different holsters. Now going back on this thinking, had there been a holster like this that I knew about three, four, five years ago, I probably could have saved myself in excess of $600 at least just based on what I have laying around in that closet right now. All right, now all that lead up talking about money, it's probably getting to the price point, right? And yes, it is. Now, this is not your Amazon buy it for $40 style holster. And Tier 1 Concealed is one of the few companies that was able to keep relatively low lead times during the whole buying frenzy of the past couple years. So strap into the seat for a second, put your seatbelt on and stay with me because the cost on these ones, depending on how you get them with or without the mag caddy, is 159 bucks and that's about 16 different colors you can get and then if you want crazy stuff it becomes a little bit more expensive but again let's think long term here and remember this is likely going to be the last one that you have to buy unless you change light so they have them for the mod light pistol light the streamlight and the x300 right now sorry for my light fans they are not currently making one of those but think about this, you go from Glock to MP, or maybe you've changed to SIG or whatever other brand you wanna carry, or if you carry different stuff, depending on the circumstance and size, is you can fit a full size, a compact, even a subcompact if you can get that light on there in there, you're gonna save money. So instead of having to buy a new pistol and a new holster to go with it, it's in with the old, out with the new when it comes to the pistol, but you get to keep the same holster that you like and is probably more comfortable than some of the other cheaper ones out there. And this isn't like a buy once, cry once scenario, even though it's 159 bucks, it's more like a just buy once and be done with it. And I know there are already people in the comments talking about how their $40 Amazon holster is just as good as this tier one concealed. That's gonna be completely up to you. And I know there are some people saying $159 is far too much for a holster. Then again, I ask you to think long-term. This is not only an investment in yourself, your safety, your security, but a long-term investment, so you only have to buy one holster for probably everything that all of us are gonna carry, rather than buying a holster for each additional piece. And then if you get the mag caddy, you can just take it off if you don't like it and carry the pistol holster alone, in case you guys didn't pick up on the fact that all that's holding it on there is the bungee cord. And I have got to know what your favorite or your chosen brand of holsters is 
And if you have holster buying regret, because I know I sure as hell do, because I've got a lot of holsters that have gone unused over the years. If you guys are interested in those MSP holsters, I'm gonna leave a link down below for you to check out. And of course, it'll be over at my webpage. You can check it out, all that stuff. But this is just a video to let you guys know, should you be like me and carry more than one thing, there is an option that is high quality when it comes to concealed carry. Make sure you all get subbed up. Leave me that comment down below on what you think about this holster and especially that price point because prices are going way up on just about everything out there. You guys, get on the range and have some fun. Remember, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. I will see you all on the next one.